Do you have hip pain when doing box squats? Because if you do, I want to break down exactly why that's the case and give you a solution in fixing it forever. So allow me to break this down. So first of all, there's two things going on here. One, it's either a technique issue or two, it's a mobility issue. For technique, you're probably going too wide of a stance. I've always said that a box squat should be done with a wide stance, but guess what? For some people, because of the structure of their hips, and the length of their femurs in relation to that, they will experience hip pain if they go too wide. So the easiest solution in the world is to just narrow your stance a little bit. Now, I'm not saying you should be doing a very, very narrow stance like an Olympic style squat. No, I'm saying still keep it wide, but narrow it a little bit. And you should find that that helps tremendously with the hip pain. That's pretty much all you got to do in terms of technique. It's a very simple fix. That's fix number one. Fix number two, you probably have mobility related issues. Now, this one goes a little bit deeper. It has to do with the fact that your hips are not mobile and you probably have weak adductors. So my advice is actually going to be to do progressive range of motion box squats to really get that mobility in. Because the thing about the box squat is that it allows you to get in a deep position that sometimes the free squat doesn't allow you to do, you know. So you can sit all the way back and go very deep. And some guys can actually reach positions that they can't normally do in a free squat. That's why they're experiencing hip pain. It's because their bodies were not meant to go that deep in the first place. You ever see a guy who he can barely squat below parallel, but then you put him on the box and suddenly he could do it? That's because the box is stopping him. But when he stops at the box, it's literally too deep for his anthropometry. So the solution is to just do progressive range of motion box squats. So you start high and you end it low. My advice is going to be to start off an 18 inch box and gradually lower it on a weekly or monthly basis. So start at an 18, 17, 16, just keep gradually lowering the height until you're squatting off an 8 to 12 inch box. Once you're able to do that with the wide stance, you should eliminate all hip pain. It really comes down to building the mobility in a strength training fashion. And if you combine that with adductor training, there's actually a great machine. It's the good girl, bad girl machine where it teaches you to externally rotate. That again is going to help tremendously with your hip pain because you're going to be building the weak link in the chain. You probably have trouble shoving the knees out. So you want to build those muscles, build the muscles so strong that you're not going to have pain. Even doing sumo deadlifts, believe it or not, can help you with this pain because oftentimes the guys who tell me that box squats give them hip pain are the same ones who say sumo gives them hip pain. So it's the same issue nine out of 10 times. And then finally, in terms of additional mobility movements, try out these two stretches. The first is where you take a band, you put it between your legs and you spread apart, right? Super simple thing right there. You can do it every day, twice a day. You know, that should help a lot with your mobility. And then you can do the manual exercise that does not require equipment where you just, you get in a deep squat position, widen your legs, take your elbows, put it inside your legs, and then just spread it apart. And that, again, is going to mimic the box squat. It's going to mimic the sumo deadlift. It's going to teach you how to externally rotate and not have hip pain. So I strongly believe that if you implement all these strategies, you will no longer have hip pain ever again when doing box squats. Like I said, it comes down to doing the progressive range of motion and the mobility drills. And, of course, making your stance a little bit more close. So with that said, good luck to you, sir. Let me know how this helps you out. And I will talk to you guys all next time.